What is the average settlement for an 18-wheeler accident? Hi, friends and neighbors, and thank you for joining us for another one of our frequently asked questions. I'm Jim Adler, the Texas Hammer, and today we are going to address a commonly asked question by sharing with you the many factors that determine the value of an 18-wheeler accident claim. Victims who are injured in any type of personal injury accident always want to know what their case is worth. That is a very natural question, especially after suffering serious personal injuries, unexpected medical bills, and significant lost wages in an 18-wheeler accident. Unfortunately, our Texas 18-wheeler accident lawyers at Jim Adler & Associates know that no one answer applies to every case. Instead, there are factors that can affect the settlement value of every type of case, especially an 18-wheeler accident. Some of the most important factors include the following. What are your injuries? Generally speaking, injuries have different values because they cause different amounts of pain and suffering. A good rule of thumb is that injuries closer to the center of the body are worth more than injuries that are further away, more distal. For example, a broken hand is generally worth more than a broken finger and a broken shoulder is typically worth more than a broken hand. Injuries that are higher up on the body are also often worth more. A spinal cord injury in the lumbar spine, lower back, causing paraplegia, is usually worth less than a spinal cord injury in the cervical spine, neck, causing quadriplegia. There are exceptions to these rules, but these are the most common application. Do you have lost wages? Lost wages are caused by being unable to work due to an accident, disability, surgeries, agony, or conscious pain and suffering. The more lost wages you have, the more compensation you may be entitled to, increasing the value of your settlement. Do you have to change jobs? If you can no longer work in the same job because of your injuries and disability, you may be entitled to recover compensation for the differences in your new job if it pays less. That difference will be attributed to each year for the rest of your working life. This means that younger individuals who have more time before retirement will often have a higher lost future earnings claim than older individuals who may be closer to retirement. Did you have a lot of out-of-pocket medical expenses? Even the best health insurance doesn't cover everything. Some victims will still have copays, deductibles, or coverage limits. Individuals who have unreimbursed medical expenses may be entitled to recover them in a lawsuit. Other factors such as age, family, health, and other considerations. Factors that consider pain and suffering include a person's age because future pain and suffering is often measured by a person's remaining life expectancy. A person's family life also matters as individuals who are married or have dependents may be entitled to a claim for loss of consortium or income support. In contrast, an individual who has no dependents may not be able to claim loss of consortium. Further, comorbidities or pre-existing injuries may also negatively affect a settlement amount. If you or a loved one were injured in a semi-truck accident, call us for a free consultation to learn what factors apply to your case and may help increase your settlement amount. You can easily reach us at 1-800 567-7575 or on our website at jimadler.com.